I want to tell a story to you all that I, um, I've been meaning to share, but it's, uh, it's, it's a bit awkward because it's, it's, you know, not everyone understands, um, when I, I explain, explain this to people, but I'm going to try. So basically I was born, uh, in the wrong body. Um, and I, I discovered that when I was around five, from about five, I started to, to, to really realize that, uh, that, uh, I, uh, I, I wasn't a man. I wasn't a man uh, or a human male. Um, cause I, I, I started uh, crawling. I started uh, crawling around a lot from the age of five and you know, I couldn't sleep. Uh, because I, I was trying to get smaller, you know, I was trying to get smaller, but I, I couldn't do it because, uh, you know, there was just so much space in my bed. But, and anyways, basically, about from, from, from the age of six years old, I, you know, I just crawled most of the time. And I kind of, you know, I had a blanket or something on my back. And, and my, mother, my mother did some research on the Internet, and she discovered that there have been a few cases in the world it's not common, but there have been a few cases in the world of uh, 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 turtles being born in human bodies, usually males, uh, sometimes Jewish. And, uh, <coughs> and um, you know, she was able to diagnose me this way. And as soon as she told me, as soon as she said, Michael, I think you're a turtle, everything started to make sense uh, to me. And, uh, wow. And, uh, you know, it, it was, it was a difficult time in my, my family. My, my, my father, he stopped talking to me and, uh, he still doesn't talk to me. Uh, but you know, I'm dealing with that with my therapist still. And, uh, but I was eight years old, around eight years old. I managed to convince my mother to finally, you know, get me a proper shell. I, I was, you know, taping boxes together over my back. You know, I, I, I did everything. I put a light on. I just tried to find my, my home, but I couldn't. And so I, I begged my mother to, to buy me one. Well, to get one specially made for me. And, and she, finally, she finally conceded and she did. And I had my very own uh, shell. And I would paint my, my, my skin, my skin green. I would paint my skin green. Uh, to look more like a turtle. And then I would go down to the pond where some of the other turtles like to hang out. And I would, I would wade in the pond with them. And it was strange for the turtles. They were unclear as to how to be in relationship to me. Because, um, you know, I was a human. In, a human. And, um, <clears throat> uh, you know... They were turtles and much smaller than me. And I tried to explain to them. I said, look, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a turtle just like you. It's just I was born in this male's body. And uh, they didn't understand English. Well, I don't know if they understood any language, actually. Uh, because they're turtles. And I don't speak turtle. So, yeah. Anyways. The turtles would, you know, swim away, and I would cry, and I would go back home uh, to, to, uh, you know, my my mother, and I would tell her what happened, and my mother would cry with me. Uh, I think for the same reason. And uh, you know, finally, when I was uh, twelve years old, my mother sent me to, uh, sent me away. She sent me away to live with some tortoises, some tortoises because they're much. They're much bigger. Now, I, I was a turtle, so I'm a, a different breed. I'm, I'm s smaller than a tortoise, but of course, because of my size, because as a, as a human, I'm, uh, I'm the same size as a tortoise, actually bigger in some cases. So I spent some time with the tortoises. And, you know, at first, that was nice. You know, they, <coughs> they didn't run away from me. I mean, they, didn't, they, were, they go very slow, so they don't really run at all. Most of the time they just sleep. They just sort of stay in one place and sleep. Sometimes they, they would yell or like hiss at me. 
if I got too close. But other than that, um, it was uh, was okay. Luckily, um, you know, uh, there were some some uh, wonderful people. Hi, hi Betty, hi uh, Donna. Uh, Betty and Donna are the uh, the, the beautiful couple. Uh, they were married, two girls, lesbian women, uh, and um, they saw me in the uh, in the commune. You know, sometimes you get visitors, and uh, and they and they asked if they could adopt me. And for some reason, the people at the commune were very were very agreeable. They, you know, basically they asked if they could adopt me, and. In about five minutes, I was in the car and going home, no papers or, or anything. And God, if it hadn't been for Betty and Donna, I just don't know. I just don't know what I would have done because, uh, gosh, you know, they, they, they did a lot for me. They did a lot for me, including helping me get back to, <coughs> you know, the person that you see now. I uh, spent a lot of time in in some institutions uh, where people tried to help the, me in my brain. And, and it worked, it worked. I, I, I'm, you know, I know that I'm uh, still a turtle, but I, I also know, I understand that the way that I present is as a human. And so, um, and so I, sh I should, I should be more so quiet about my my turtle. I shouldn't be a turtle uh, in how I present myself to the world because people just don't understand it. Uh, and so I know in my heart I'm a turtle, and um, and uh, and that's that's all that matters. Oh, and uh, yeah, and that's how I met. Uh, that's how I met lovely uh, Lily. Lily, lovely Lily. Lovely Lily is, uh, is my wife. She's also a turtle. Uh, uh, she was born a woman, but she's a turtle. And, um, and we, we live together. Uh, we live together. Of course, at home, we put on our, our shells and uh, we live our lives as, as turtles. I mean, turtles who like to watch, uh, you know, t television at night. I mean, come on, you know. Uh, there are some things I'm willing to give up, but television, no. Uh, no way. We're, so we're working our way through uh, 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 re, re, uh, re, uh, reruns of, uh, of Seinfeld. He was a funny. He was a funny guy. That George. He looked like a turtle. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not kidding. You. you know there are so many people who are who are turtles. Um, and um, they just don't know that that's okay. And I'm here to tell you that it's okay to be a turtle. Just don't, uh, don't, don't let the world know. And this is n nothing to do with, uh, you know, people, people who are transgendered. I'm not a transgender. I'm a, I'm a trans animal. So, um, uh, transgender people, that's a whole other thing. This is not an argument for, for transgendered people not to be the gender that they want to be. Uh, I fully support that 100%. I don't, I think that that, and I think it's great that the world is accepting that more. And I hope that one day we can get to, um, the acceptance of turtles, trans uh, animals, in general, uh, I'll be comfortable once again putting that shell on in public. But until until then, uh, uh, I, I I live my life as a human, and this is my my YouTube channel. And uh, I hope that I still offer you the same kind of uh, trust and love as a, a Jew from Canada living in in Poland. Now that you know that my true identity is a turtle, uh, like and, uh, uh, and subscribe if you want more content like this, or uh, feel free to support me on my Patreon. Uh, and know that supporting me is, is supporting all the trans animals of the world.